In 2015, the Knorr Bremsa Corporation recognized New York Airbrake for technological excellence. This is the story of the design, engineering, and manufacture of the product that inspired that award, the DB62 control valve. In 1890, the Eames Vacuum Brake Company began making brakes for trains in Watertown, New York. Shortly thereafter, this regional business expanded its capabilities and product offering to become New York Airbrake. In 1991, New York Airbrake joined the family of Knorr Bremsa Companies, led by Heinz Hermann Thiele. Building on Mr. Thiele's commitment to technological excellence and other key corporate values, Knorr Bremsa is the world's leading manufacturer of braking systems for rail and commercial vehicles. So if you went back historically, New York Airbrake um, always had technological excellence, entrepreneurship, reliability, passion, I think, is one of the areas that we excel in. Our approach to business meshed very well with what Knorr's, uh, Knorr's approach to business was. I think what you find with, with this uh, the set of values is somebody finally articulated it, which, which is great because now we understand really who we are and our intent is to make sure that those values are f foremost in everything that we do every day. And when Mr. Tila decided that he wanted to enter the market and chose New York Airbrake as, as that entry channel uh, and the investments he made, it re-energized the entire business. So we not only evaluated uh, how the, the products from the German company would be introduced into our market, but also we had a backer. We had a, a man who believed in New York Airbrake and he didn't just talk about what he wanted to do. He, he put his money into the business and allowed us to become what we are today. We are absolutely center of excellence for heavy haul. In fact, it's one of the, I'd say, the, the badges of honor that we wear very proudly. We are COC for AAR heavy haul. So if you go around the globe, the New York Airbrake brand is what Knorr Brem sells into heavy haul markets globally. Today, New York Airbrake is recognized worldwide as the center of excellence for heavy haul freight railroad control systems, with customers across the United States and reaching clear across the globe. Where New York Air Brake equipped freight trains carry ore, coal, lumber, cars, trucks, and countless other commodities critical to consumers, businesses, and whole economies worldwide. In fact, New York Air Brake train control components and systems are deployed throughout each train. One of the strongest common denominators across the technologies we provide the ability to anticipate and respond to customer problems with an absolute dedication to technological excellence, as expressed by our engineered to outperform mantra. You can see this technological excellence in our state-of-the-art leader energy management system. You can see it exemplified in our CCB2, recognized as the industry's most reliable control unit. You can see it in our maintenance-free, environmentally friendly, oil-free compressor. And you see it clear across the rest of our line of train control products and bogey equipment. Perhaps one of the most telling examples of New York air brake innovation had its origin in the age-old problem of brake cylinder leaks. Braking equipment even though it's engineered to last long periods of time with very little maintenance, there comes a point in time where eventually things are going to break down. Time takes its toll on everybody, including us, and the brake system is no exception. So what happens is, over time, these problems manifest themselves in the form of small leaks, and unlike wine, they don't get better with age. They get worse, and they get worse, and they get worse, and eventually you compromise the rail car's ability to brake successfully and to brake safely. We laid out requirements that said, you know, what does a leak look like? What should this function do? We were able to build on the existing design that has been proven for 25 years. We have over 500,000 valves in, in, our, in the market. So it was critical that it had to have been a, 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 a clever and innovative idea, but at the same time, it had to be backwards compatible and be able to be retrofitted on our valves uh, that we had already in the field. The first challenge was how to integrate this into our existing valve. So the way we did this was we have a very clever solution um, that we modified one of our existing features. And under the cover, we modified a couple parts. And by doing so, we were able to introduce the brake cylinder maintaining feature. 
leakage tends to be greater at lower temperatures. One of the benefits of this product is to compensate for that increased leakage. The challenge of cold temperatures was a very difficult challenge and a lot of it was just a lot of testing in our chambers. We spent a lot of days and nights testing in our chambers to ensure that we had the reliability at cold temperature. This is the first change, fundamental change to this valve in the industry since 1977. So by having that, that, that new feature, we wanted to make sure we didn't impact all the other uh, elements of the valve. All these features are uh, codependent on each other in some way so that disrupting it uh, in a negative way would have an influence on, on uh, the other features and the other uh, characteristics of the valve. So I've been out in the field on a, a few installs. Um, everyone liked the fact that it was in the valve, so it was just a simple install a new valve. You know, like I said earlier, there was no secondary valving, and so far everything's been positive. We've had some uh, trials going on currently where it's showing uh, positive benefits from a technical standpoint. With brake cylinder maintaining, we are still manufacturing our standard DB10 valve. So we had to develop a process for brake cylinder maintaining. In that case, we felt that an offline process was more uh, appropriate for the uh, introduction of this valve because of the critical to quality aspects. The quality and manufacturing team work very closely with the uh, development of our processes here. So in a normal test code process, you're looking for a leak in the valve during normal operation, and that's what the test rack is designed to catch. In this case, we're doing the opposite. We're actually introducing a leak to the valve to ensure that the brake cylinder maintaining function can pick up that leak. The quality team also work closely with the supply base in this case. And they went to the supply base because there were some, some very critical to quality um, dimensions in these parts, bead seats and spring forces in particular. And they went and did the same process with our supply base to ensure that they have a capable, repeatable process and can provide us with consistent uh, quality product. So a few years ago, New York Air Brake introduced a, a slogan that was called Engineer Doubt Performer, or E2O, right? The question became, who do we want to be? What claim do we want to stake in the market? How do we differentiate ourselves from everybody else that's got something to sell? Any company, no matter who you are, it all comes down to people, and it all comes down to the way that they approach problems. One of the magic moments for me in, in, in having received this award is when you look at the breadth of participation in the company and the different departments that, that brought brake cylinder maintaining to a feature inside of the DV60. It was amazing how many people needed to be part of that, and it was natural. This is the way we operate. So it had the cross-functional capability, quality, manufacturing, engineering, to make sure that we were, we were bringing all of those different disciplines to the product. So at the end, we were successful, not because we're just good at engineering, we were successful because we were good at identifying and fixing problems with technology that, that is difficult for, for most to bring. New York Airbreak does this especially well. Yeah, so we submitted the, the application and guess what? We won.